some days the trip from planet Zog to YouTube land really takes it out of me. Oh, and oh, I think something happened to my hair on the journey here today. Anyway, the breakfast today is brought by a Mrs. H chicken mug and a piece of leftover Christmas stolen. Yum! Let's get on with one of the most dangerous parts of human history. Oh boy. Somehow, you and I survived. Mutual assured destruction, ICBMs, massive missiles aimed at not actually causing nuclear war. But a standoff, a deadly duo of destruction. But in the late 1970s, and the deadly 1980s, the world nearly ended. And it all looked so positive. We had salt, strategic arms limitation talks. Great men and women sign papers to reduce kilotonnage bombs of destruction. But secretly, the warmongers never got rid of the nuclear bombs. They hid them using a legal administrative scam to make this world a much more dangerous place. Let me tell you how I found out about this terror. Can you believe that the NSA, no such agency, actually the National Security Agency of America has a press officer and an archive. Mm. Thank you, America, the United States, for being so honest. And what they shared with me today is a horrible part of history that I didn't know anything about and nearly destroyed Europe. So we were all told about SALT, strategic arms limitation talks, and the reduction of mad, mutually assured destruction. And if I had to nail somebody, Henry Kissinger came up with a scam. The giant warheads of ICBMs might have been banned. So he came up with the idea of reducing the warheads to under one kiloton. 0 0.9, 0 0.5, variable yield, little guys that were off the radar. Thousands of these Tactical nuclear weapons were hidden in hundreds of secret places in Europe under the radar. This is an early tactical nuclear weapon. Did you spot the obvious bad point about using it? It only goes a few hundred yards and there's an atomic explosion. That's the point of tactical nuclear weapons. With a range of a few kilometers, they're used in your own backyard. They're deadly and it's very possible that they might be used. Ah! Plus there's very limited controls over them. ICBM launches needs the Queen. Or heaven forbid, a Prime Minister of UK or the President of the United States 
or Russia to issue the deadly launch command. But with a tactical nuclear weapon, they can be launched by some oik with a howitzer. It was very likely when we had thousands of nuclear-tipped howitzer shells, dumb bombs, that somebody, somewhere, was going to use one. And their justification was, well, it just makes a big bang. Well, no! The use of a tactical nuclear weapon in the 1980s could well have escalated into global thermal nuclear war. It's still an atomic weapon. Luckily, amazingly, it never happened. None were actually fired. France really had a lot of weapons that they were going to fire onto Germany to protect their country. It was insane. All over Europe, including the United Kingdom, there were stockpiles of these micro-atomic bombs. Everything from shells to dumb bombs to depth charges to torpedoes with nuclear-tipped warheads. And let's not forget, we weren't alone. It caused an arms race, just as NATO had thousands of these tactical nuclear weapons, so did the Soviet Union. A deadly duo of possible destruction. I live in Europe today in 2022, living under a shroud of a possible escalation to a nuclear conflict in Ukraine. But in the 1980s, little Air Force bases, little tank battalions, little submarine pens all had atomic weapons for tactical, practical, real use. Well, I enjoyed my visit to planet Earth today. It's time for me to return to the planet Zorg. The truth is out there. I'm back. It's amazing. Two bits of urgent advice. One, go and update Google Chrome browser right now. Just press update. They're not saying why, because saying why might help the baddies exploit whatever they're not telling us. But go into the update. And two, get a VPN, a virtual private network. Not only does it let you browse anywhere in the world, which you might need if your country is looking at your browser history. A VPN also adds a level of protection to your internet presence. I use NordVPN and they kindly are offering you this discount. A few months free if you use this code. If you don't have a VPN, get one as soon as possible. NordVPN works great. Use this code, it helps me and it will really stop prying eyes looking at your internet history. Get this VPN today and go and update Google Chrome. Stay safe out there.